Hi and welcome back and in this episode I'm going to show you how we're going to create a landing page or, or a squeeze page. Uh, this is the page where we're going to be grabbing emails. There are two ways of doing this, direct linking directly to the offer or to your landing page. Now the power of the landing page is that you're going to be focusing on building your list and that list will be bringing you money in the long run. The direct traffic to the page, the offer that you have is just basically missing out on everybody that's clicked on haven't converted and left so the best thing to do is create a landing page and I'll show you how we're gonna do that we're gonna name this the Iron Jet Set webinar landing page I'm gonna create now I wanna do let's see a landing page so uh, opt-in funnel I'm gonna create this now, Igloo has a lot for me to choose from, so this is really, it really depends on you, okay, on what you want to choose. I'm going to go ahead and choose one, and I'll come back and I'll, I'll continue. Now, my mission here is to basically copy this, this uh, landing page right here. So, um, it's all the information is here, so only we got to change the background or whatever, but we, we'll, we want to put the same kind of information that we are finding right here. Now the beauty thing, beautiful thing about Igloo is that it has different options that you can choose from. In our case, we're looking for something that's close to a webinar landing page that we want to take people to. Sometimes I want to uh, steal some stuff from landing pages that you know are working. So the way I would do this is right click on this and go to inspect. This is some ninja hack so you can uh, you can use it to to basically see what's going on in the background on their page now I can see that I'm looking for the back background uh, image that he's using so I want to find that image and I think I found it it's this link right here I think I'm gonna check it out. Yep, this is it. All right, so basically, I found the image. So now that I've found the image, I'm going to go into my igloo and I'm going to go ahead and create uh, the landing page that I want <clears throat> with the image that I used following the same type of style that they used. Image. Now that we got that down, we want to put um, a pop up here.
So this is a video that I uh, I got. All right. So and I uploaded it, and now I can use it also on my page, right here. And uh, I'll press save for now. All right. Preview. Perfecto, looks good. Now, uh, what I want to do here is put in what he's got here. See how it's coming along? Alright, we'll leave that uh, towards the end. And we need to add our privacy and terms and conditions underneath. Looking good, right? Okay.
Okay, we got our terms and services. And see, all these, all rights and services, change them to whatever your website is. Perfect, perfect. So we got that set up. Let's see how it looks. Hi, my name is John Cristani, and this is your invitation. everything covered privacy and disclaimers these actually direct you to a page where you create a page and you add your privacy and disclaimers over here I'm gonna change the information here to whatever my website is I'm gonna have this below so you can copy and use it for yourself so you can be covered and Well, you get the point I'm gonna have everything below I just wanted to make sure that you can see how this works let me see if this put boxed. boxed looks better save and now we want to build our list so we either use igloos subscription thing where they grabs the emails from there or set it up with your Aweber and I'll show you how we'll set up this right now okay so we're in our Aweber autoresponder right now and I want to create a new list go to manage list once you go to manage list go to create list follow my instructions here on what, what, I, what I'm doing okay now that we created our list we will be heading up to the sign up forms because this is where you'll be grabbing your emails so you have to create your first sign up form Now I'm going to keep it very basic because all I want is the code. So this is going to stay as is. I'm leaving name and email. All right. And then I'm going to name this I am Jets at Webinar opt in. Okay. You can have your own thank you page or the basic or whatever this and that. And if they subscribe, you can send them somewhere else, but we'll leave that as it is right now. So I'm going to save form. I will install form and grab this script thing again. All right, we're going to grab that. All right. Save it somewhere or, okay, save it somewhere or then head over to the list itself. Okay, so let's go manage list. And make sure that you also grab the, uh, let me see, 
and jet set if you click on this list you'll see a code right here this unique ID make sure you copy this as well and keep it somewhere safe now let's head back and inside your igloo you know if you're using something else you won't need to to have the other codes and everything because you can do it straight from here but uh, you can see that here I'm gonna be changing things alright so the autoresponder is gonna be on Aweber so you can choose any of these so this is where I said you could use your HTML which is that script or go ahead and pick it from the list of uh, your list from Aweber now I'm gonna choose the account it's gonna bring up my list and here is my list of the I am jet set perfect perfect uh, let's keep that mandatory and the redirect on submit is to a thank you page that you're gonna be creating uh, or uh, redirect them to the offer itself right as soon as, as soon as they uh, they log in kind of thing I'd usually take them to a landing page um, of a thank you page because there I could actually take advantage of other offers that I might have and everything and to make sure that they signed up and also to grow my list so my redirect link I'm gonna send them to the webinar now the, there's only one thing about this uh, they're gonna have to put in their email twice so this is just an example showing you that you should use something else so if, if this is not the uh, you know if you have something else that you want to give them go ahead and then promote them through emails later on or take them again to the um, to the webinar page okay so I'm gonna go ahead and webinar I am jet set webinar Okay, so let's test it out. So let's say you have this up and running. You're sending traffic. This pops up. They want to see the free training. All right. And I want to reserve my seat. Now this should redirect me to the sales page. And they're gonna have to put in their email again but here you, they get to choose the webinar so it, it they won't be it won't mind that much all right I think this is gonna work perfectly and uh, I'm gonna test it out as well so you can see the results other than that we're done with that we've got our uh, uh, thing um, now I want to show you that I've also got the subscriber into my list and then my job is to remind him by sending him emails from any swipes that you have from the click funnels offer that you're doing and uh, whatever now it might take some time to sh uh, show up on my list um, or because I'm already in it it probably didn't uh, show up yet uh, I am jet set where is it me
needed to add it properly and save it. All right, so there we go. But you you get the point. We 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 got it all set up. Everything's set up as it should be. Now I'm taking this link right here. All right. This is my Igloo page. This is the landing page link that you're going to have. And this is where you can connect it to your domain uh, so you can start grabbing the leads and driving the traffic to that domain. In my case, I'm, got, I'm going to go to go. So I'm going to come to my commission evolution. Okay. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to manage DNS. And I'm going to change this to the landing page that I've created. But now look at this. I wouldn't put it as it is, like just from like Igloo's um, server thing. So what I really want to do is either go to my domain uh, and actually and actually add a pretty link, or I'm going to use my tracker like Click Magic to use and cover that link. So in my tracking uh, area, using my Click Magic, I'm going to add my landing page here so I know what's going on. I am Jet Set own webinar page so this is my page copy it now I want to come in to my account I, and if I have a domain I want to use pretty link it's a free plugin add the new link through the domain so I can actually make that link that I have from click magic prettier Grab this link and go back to my domain and paste it right there. Perfect. We're done. I'm going to save. All right. So this is going to take me to. commissionevolution.eu will take him to this landing page right here when people put their email in it will take them to the page that I want them to put their email again to get their webinar works like a charm all right so now I'm gonna be driving traffic to this through the use of Bing ads in our next video now to add the privacy policies and everything all you have to do is copy somebody else's oh, from whatever you can find or from mine that I'm gonna have below for you to copy from 
and then just copy this and then go back to igloo and create a new page okay and in your new page uh, have a blank choose a blank page choose a blank page gives you a blank page edit it all right grab the text put it there and paste and then change this to whatever your your website is take this and change it for everything else here so you get the point of what's going on here so once you're done with this so once we're finished with this we click save we preview it grab that link from the preview all right and then go back go back to the page that you created edit okay and then come here okay and then just we're gonna have hyperlink this area right here this one all right so it gives me the option to unlink and then link and I'm gonna paste the link of that page that we created with a privacy boom okay same thing happens with the disclaimer save preview now if I click on this it takes me to the privacy section that I created boom alright so that's how you would add the terms and privacy and everything like that thank you I hope you enjoyed this training